See, I carve here in the summer. In the winter, I carve downstairs. Watch this now. See, this is where I usually carve. You see, these tables were from my father's shop. They're older than you and me, these workbenches. Sculpture mallets, they're different kinds of mallets. Uh, here you see the wood is cracked, but it will, it'll still go for another 200 years. When I was at Amherst, Smitty sort of adopted me. He was my father away from home. He was quite a guy, and uh, I miss him. I miss him. It's part of the past. Sharp as a razor. What will happen is every place you go, every place you see a knife, you'll say, oh, it's so dull. <laughs> Let me see what we've got here. I don't know why I started these pieces. I, I just, years ago I did one piece, it was very large, and I started making these large pieces, and I don't know why, because now that I look at it, I could have made them this size, it would have been easy. <laughs> you just put it on the shelf. Now I can't even move them. And this is, this is a smaller piece, and you can see the size of it next to me. The large, there's one, my largest piece is 15 foot by 8 feet high. These things are made uh, from ivory. This is whale ivory from a whale's tooth. This is a small sperm whale's tooth. Okay? And this is a large one that's been ground down and smoothed a little bit. This is all ivory. Uh, elephant tusk is ivory, whales teeth are ivory, hippopotamus teeth are ivory, and uh, mastodon tusk is ivory, that's it. Everything else is bone but not ivory. And these were carved from whales teeth. These skeletal figures are tradition and art to remind people that one day, they too will be equal to all other people in this form. These were done back in 19, uh, I would say around 1960. I had a notion to make a figure and then how to add, uh, and didn't have enough bone for feet, so I added socks. Cool man with brown socks. These are little ones, little birds, made from small teeth. A skeletal figure. This is a scale model of the 
of the Morgan whaling ship I made this many years ago from scratch. I'd go up and look at the ship and photograph it and then refer to the photographs. <clears throat> this is an interesting one. 1928 29 railroad tug. I don't know if you get a good light for it, but this also was made from photographs. This whole thing comes off. There's an engine inside. So I made those for a while just to keep busy. When I have nothing to do, I make cuttings uh, from plants and then I just grow them. It makes me feel like I'm doing something and regenerating the plants. Maybe I'm cheap. <laughs> I don't know. But I love to put them in small and let them grow and put them in pots and in my miniature greenhouse. Here's my father. Remember I told you he was a carpenter? I took that when in 19, I'll tell you exactly, 1954. That photograph of my father. My father was a carpenter, as were my two uncles. My grandfather, and I guess grandfathers before them. What else is here? Well, just pictures, 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 drawings, drawings. I have a lot of paintings, but this one is interesting that I was, you'll see other, I have others. This, this one here, this was, uh, I went up to a farm that grows heirloom tomatoes and made some drawings up there and paintings from the heirloom tomato fields. I have a lot of these big drawings that are done with seven or eight pencils at one time in my hand. All this is full of portfolios, hundreds of big pictures, six or seven foot pictures. But let me show you some that, this is a big olive tree, it's half a tree. Somebody was here. You could pull them out. These uh, olive trees in France. 